Okay. Yeah, well, you can be sick of some stuff and, and continue to do it. And to the point where you get so sick of doing what you're doing. All right. I got to go. Bye. Hey, family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Just wanted y'all to know I was still in the land of the living and um, thought I'd show my face in the place today. How y'all feeling? I hope everybody is well. Um, under the circumstances, like you always hear me say, under the circumstances, I hope mentally, mentally, that um, we're doing okay. We're hanging in there. We're checking on our neighbors. Because, you know, we had a bad, bad snowstorm here. Um, in fact, it just s stopped a couple hours ago. Oh, uh, boy. Um, here we go. America is ramped up, y'all. I did a video a little bit ago about... But America is... Um, is totally amped up um let's see uh america ramps up it says the u.s is expected to quadruple the number of u.s forces deployed to Taiwan in the coming months as tensions with Beijing continue to simmer. The Wall Street Journal reported on Thursday that the Pentagon plans to deploy between 100 and 200 troops to the self-ruled island, um, up from about 30 a year ago. Servicemen from the Marines and Special Forces have been sent to Taiwan in the past and the um, number of has fluctuated over the years. Uh, pretty deep. But this uh, story that I wanted to talk about, y'all, I thought it was pretty damn crazy. You know, given the... Um, given the, uh, just the, the, the damn nature of this society, it's really interesting how the slave and the slave master and the slave kids have been forced. I mean, this the kind of relationship that we have with one another is unbelievable. Um, we have children and we carry the seeds of our slave master. And if we didn't, uh, some of our ancestors did. Okay. So it's all so diabolical and mixed up that I thought one of the most funniest, it's not really funny, craziest articles that I saw in the Daily Mail was, Notorious Black Panther communists. That's how they had to uh, start it off, of course. Angela Davis faces calls to pay reparations after genealogy show reveals her ancestor was one of the 101 white Puritans who arrived in the U.S. on the Mayflower. <laughs> That they're finding your roots. You gotta be kidding me. You <laughs> Y'all ain't right. And y'all want her. Y'all want her to pay reparations. <laughs> she from Alabama, I believe. Um and come I I believe 
I believe she has sharecropping in her family, but maybe not because she was very educated. The fact of the matter is, Angela Davis, 79, learned that her ancestors, one of them came to the U.S. on the Mayflower. <laughs> the former Black Panther also discovered that she had two white grandparents. She appeared on PBS Finding Your Roots in an episode <laughs> that aired on Tuesday. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Like I said, we have such a unique history here in America. And we could talk white this, white that, white this, but we all mixed up with white people. We, everybody screwed us, and then we had to have children with the same person that was beating us. It was just such an unhealthy marriage, right? Where your rapist, oops, your grapist could... Uh, make you work from sun up to sundown, could beat you with whips and all, and hang you and mutilate you and then give you a baby. What type of abuse that is? And then you got a nerve to go and put people in jail talking about the atrocities. But you go and this is, the, this is what you can't fix because you can't face this history. Um, I really like Daryl Gates is uh not it's not not, not Daryl Gates whatever his name is not Daryl Gates I think Daryl Gates I believe is the uh is the Los Angeles police chief when wasn't when he Daryl Gates anyway this is insane. The stunning revelation sparked calls for the famously Mark woke, uh, woke Marxist University of California professor to herself pay reparations, having previously called on whites to pony up in the past. <laughs> uh, sharing a tweet about the show, conservative rabble rouser Matt Walsh wrote, It gets better. She's also descended from a slave owner. On her father's side is a pilgrim. And on her mother's side is a slave owner. Looks like Angela Davis owes some reparations. <laughs> Another Twitter user called A.K. Camaro wrote, Angela Davis, the radical Marxist and former Black Panther, recently discovered that she is also the ancestor of of colonizers and slave owners. I guess she owes herself reparations. This timeline is hilarious. <laughs> it was revealed that Davis is a descendant of William Brewster who traveled to the U.S. aboard the Mayflower with his wife, Mary Wentworth Brewster. In 1620. Gets better. She's also descended from a slave owner. On her father's side. Is a pilgrim. And on her mother's side is a slave owner. Good God. <laughs> it arrived with America on the Mayflower. Oh my God. And so, of course, they're, they're uh, clowning her all over Twitter. Oh, my goodness. This is just insane. I got to watch the episode. <laughs> Davis, um, of course, y'all all know, uh, for those of y'all who don't, I'm going to give y'all a little history lesson. Angela Davis is nationally known. Uh, she became nationally known in 1970 when guns she owed were used in the holding of the Marin County courtroom. Holding up uh, the, 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 when the Johnson, um, what was his name, John Johnson? He went to go free his brother. They had to shoot out in the courtroom. The FBI issued a warrant for her arrest. She went on the run and became listed as one of the department's 10 most wanted. 
After her eventual arrest, she spent 16 months in jail before being found not guilty. Davis was born in Birmingham, yeah, I thought so, Alabama in 1944, an era of uh, segregation and violent uh, racial segregation. I remember reading her uh, one of her books where she talked about her and how her her and her cousin used to uh, go and fool the silly store owner that used to give everybody credit and rip everybody off. They would take their towels and stuff and wrap their heads and act like they was foreign um, black people from, you know, Nigeria or some other part of Africa. And the store owners would treat them totally different. And they were so silly how they could take go in there without that headgear and head wrap and they would treat them like niggers again. And, and they got a big kick out of that. Anyway, while studying in West Germany in her youth, she was drawn to the far left politics. And re upon returning to the U.S. became involved with the Black Panthers and the Communist Party. She appears shocked during a TV interview that aired this week in which Finding Your Roots host Louis Gates, Henry Louis Gates, that's his name, told her of her ancestry. No, no, I can't believe this. My ancestors did not come here on the Mayflower, she said, only to be later told that they did indeed arrive on the U.S. board. <laughs> the Pilgrim ship. Um, the Mayflower was an English boat that brought... Um, Hold on, y'all. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go with this again. Can you hear me? Wow. Something's wrong with this phone. I can imagine... I can imagine. It, you can't make this stuff up. You, you just can't. Anyway, what y'all think about that? Angela Davis. She is a descendant from one of the 101 people that came over on the Mayflower. What y'all think about that? All right. And I haven't seen it yet, so for anybody who has seen it, please let me hear your comment. Leave it below, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Is this too crazy? Way, way, way too crazy.